In the world of Catholicism, many events and experiences can seem almost unbelievable. You might naturally assume that being inside a church, a place held in high regard and considered sacred would offer complete protection and safety. However, a woman who worked as a cleaner in a church in Michigan discovered that things aren't always as reassuring as they might seem. Her job involved working late into the night, and during those hours, she encountered some truly unsettling and eerie occurrences. These were not just minor disturbances but strange and frightening events that left her genuinely scared. The stories she shared were filled with the kind of fear that comes from witnessing things that defy normal explanations. To deal with these unsettling experiences, she was given holy water, which is a sacramental tool in Catholicism used to provide spiritual protection and ward off evil. The use of holy water is believed to help safeguard individuals from negative or malevolent forces, offering them some comfort and security in the face of the unknown. And if you're enjoying this video, give us a shout out by typing Amen in the comments below. Your support means a lot to us and keeps us going. Oh, and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread the love together. Thanks for being part of our community. Keep watching, commenting, amen, and sharing with your loved ones. We appreciate your support. In a small, peaceful town in Michigan, there stood a church that had long been a cornerstone of the community. Its serene atmosphere and ancient stone walls had witnessed countless moments of prayer and reflection. However, for a one-night shift cleaner named Emily, the church would become the setting for an experience beyond her wildest imaginings. Emily, a dedicated worker, took on the responsibility of cleaning the church after hours. The job was quiet and solitary, and she often enjoyed the peaceful stillness of the building after the day's bustle. But as the weeks went by, Emily began to notice something strange. Shadows seemed to move on their own, and eerie whispers echoed through the empty halls. At first, she brushed it off as her imagination. But the unsettling occurrences grew more frequent and intense. One cold, moonlit night, as Emily was polishing the wooden pews, she felt a sudden chill in the air. The temperature dropped sharply, and an oppressive darkness seemed to settle over the church. She turned around to see shadowy figures emerging from the corners of the sanctuary. These figures were unlike anything she had ever seen, dark, distorted shapes with eyes that glowed with a malevolent light. They moved with a menacing grace, their forms shifting and twisting as they approached her. She was startled by a peculiar noise coming from a dark corner of the sanctuary. The sound was faint but unsettling, like the rustling of something unseen. Turning towards the noise, Emily was confronted by a strange woman who seemed to have appeared out of nowhere. The woman was dressed peculiarly, and her presence was both unexpected and slightly unsettling. She approached Emily and asked a series of questions about the church's schedule and the priest who served there. Despite her initial shock, Emily calmly answered all the questions, trying to be helpful. However, as the woman left, Emily couldn't shake the odd feeling that had settled over her. The entire encounter seemed off. When she arrived home later that night, her mind kept returning to the woman. It was then that she realized something deeply disturbing, throughout their brief interaction, the woman had moved without making a single sound. Her feet didn't seem to touch the ground as she glided smoothly across the floor. This eerie detail made Emily's blood run cold, and she couldn't ignore the unsettling thought that perhaps the woman wasn't entirely human after all. Emily's heart raced as she realized these were no ordinary shadows, they were demons. They hovered around her, their presence filling her with an overwhelming sense of dread. Desperate, she tried to call for help, but her voice seemed to get swallowed by the heavy darkness. 
The demons whispered vile threats and mocked her, their voices a cacophony of terror. Fear gripped Emily, but amid her panic, she remembered the holy water she had been given for protection. With trembling hands, she reached for the small vial. Just as she was about to sprinkle the water around her, the church's atmosphere changed abruptly. A bright light filled the room, pushing back the darkness and causing the demons to recoil in terror. Emily looked up in awe as a figure emerged from the light, a vision of grace and beauty that seemed to transcend earthly bounds. It was Our Lady, the Virgin Mary, appearing in radiant splendor. Her presence was calming and powerful, her countenance filled with compassion and strength. Dressed in robes of pure white and blue, she exuded an aura of divine authority that made the demons wail in fear and anguish. With a serene but commanding voice, Our Lady spoke words of authority. She raised her hand, and a wave of light emanated from her, sweeping through the church. The demons hissed and writhed as the holy light drove them away, their forms dissipating into the shadows from which they came. The oppressive darkness lifted, and the church was once again bathed in peaceful light. Emily watched in awe as Our Lady moved gracefully through the church, her presence a beacon of hope and protection. She felt a profound sense of peace and safety that she hadn't known before. The Virgin Mary's gaze met hers with a look of reassurance, and Emily knew that she was not alone in this holy place. As the first light of dawn began to filter through the stained glass windows, Our Lady's presence slowly faded, leaving behind an overwhelming sense of calm. The church was once again silent and still, but the malevolent forces had been driven away. Emily, now filled with a deep sense of gratitude and relief, completed her tasks with renewed faith and courage. From that night on, Emily's experiences in the church changed. The unsettling occurrences ceased, and she felt a newfound sense of protection and grace whenever she worked there. She carried the memory of that night with her, a reminder of the divine intervention she had witnessed and the powerful presence of Our Lady in moments of darkness. Her story, shared with a mixture of awe and reverence, became a testament to the spiritual battles that can occur in even the most sacred of places. It served as a powerful reminder of the protective power of faith and the enduring strength of divine intervention against the forces of evil. Thank you for watching our video and supporting our channel. Your encouragement means the world to us and keeps us inspired to create more content for you. We are blessed to share the love and grace of God with you. His presence fills our lives with light, hope, and endless blessings. The beauty of God's creation, from the vastness of the stars to the delicate flower petals, reminds us of His infinite wisdom and love. Amen.